welcome to this uh, experimental session. Uh, so I would really like to emphasize that uh, this is an experiment. It is experiment for me and maybe it's an experiment for you, who knows. Uh, and uh, what I like to do while I'm experimenting, I like to relax. I like to be completely relaxed about possible mistakes and confusions. And uh, I would like to invite us all to take this experiment in very, very relaxed, relaxed way. Who, yeah, as uh, uh, Ted said, it was, it is uh, really exciting uh, to participate in, in, in an online event like this. Um, uh, to welcome you, I would uh, just like to um, uh, say a little bit about uh, uh, what I do. I consider uh, myself uh, part of uh, transition and permaculture community. Um, I guess uh, some of you are quite familiar with transition and permaculture and uh, some of you never heard of it. Um, the other community I consider myself part of is sociocracy and agile uh, community of practitioners. And again, some of you are uh, uh, in touch with uh, uh, sociocracy and agile, maybe for the first time, and some are maybe advanced practitioners. So I would expect that we have uh, quite a lot of uh, people here. In this kind of uh, video conferences, uh, during meetings and sessions, we very often use hand signals uh, because uh, we see each other we can give each other a silent feedback while we are listening and somebody is talking. And uh, it seems that the most popular hand signal is this. This is called silent applause. Silent applause. So when a person speaking sees everybody doing this, it's a celebration on screen. Uh, the other signals that are quite familiar are, for example, this as uh, yes or consent. This is uh, no. Uh, then uh, there are this uh, signal that uh, you uh, um, signal to a facilitator that you would like to speak. This is like uh, one hand. This is two hands. One hand is I'm waiting for my turn. Two hands is I would like to add something. <laughs> Uh, current uh, point speaker, uh, current speaker uh, points. Uh, Franz, I'm going to mute you, okay? And uh, another powerful signal is probably this, which is um, uh, when people start talking uh, uh, or diverge, making diversions. This is uh, to signal, make a point. Um, let's move on, enough. And uh, these uh, hand signals are really useful to make a session interactive. So uh, let's, uh, uh, let's continue with uh, some uh, screen sharing. I have prepared a couple of slides I would like to make some points uh, about uh, the topic of our today's interactive experiment, which is uh, basically uh, two questions. One question is, is it possible and how to learn sociocracy without taking a workshop or training? And my answer to that question is absolutely, it is possible. And the other question I would like to explore together with you is about overlap uh, between uh, modern agile, uh, sociocracy and uh, permaculture. So just to quickly check, uh, as I said at the beginning, there are people that are probably advanced practitioners or less advanced practitioners. Uh, this is uh, not uh, uh, something uh, I would like to spend much time on, but uh, very, very quickly, who consider herself or himself uh, agile practitioner, just signal. Show me your hands. Who consider himself or herself agile practitioner? Okay, so looks like we have two. <laughs> uh, 
uh, who consider himself or herself a um, sociocracy practitioner. A little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, very good. And uh, finally, permaculture practitioners here. Anybody? Okay, very good. So, um, looks like we don't have too much uh, advanced practitioners here. So I guess uh, the things I would like to share, uh, uh, which are basically some uh, principles, uh, could be interesting for most of you. So uh, I will share a screen. I prepared uh, some uh, slides, very, very, uh, very, very brief slides. Um, that I would like to use uh, as a um, as a background for my explanation. But uh, if you would like to open these slides yourself, here is the link. I've pasted a uh, uh, link into chat. So um, let me see. What do I need to do here? So in a way, I'm starting from an end because uh, what you are looking now at is a modern agile wheel or uh, mandala, we could say. And this is uh, probably the most recent set of principles I have learned about. Um, it happened uh, more or less a year ago at uh, a virtual video conference uh, like this. Uh, I shared uh, uh, with people there that I'm interested in Agile, but uh, I'm not an IT uh, engineer or developer, and I'm interested in Agile uh, that is uh, not for IT industry. And somebody mentioned modern Agile. And I check it out. And I liked it very much, and I also very quickly translated these four principles into Croatian language, my native language. And I was uh, actually quite impressed with the elegance of it. If you look at this uh, mandala or wheel, uh, you can see um, that uh, these uh, four principles are somehow related. For example, make people awesome and make safety, make safety a prerequisite are two principles that are vertical uh, axis on this uh, uh, symbol. And basically, these two principles are, are about people, or as we say in permaculture, people care ethical principle. And if you look at the horizontal axis, deliver value continuously, and experiment and learn rapidly. These two principles are actually about process. And that process is rather circular, incremental, and based on feedback. Uh, and uh, this is also very much in line with the permaculture principles. So in a way, uh, these four elegant principles uh, can be used to evaluate uh, all kinds of uh, practical situations you might have in your work or in your uh, teams, in your processes, in your structures, and in relationships uh, between people. So this is the mo most recent uh, set of uh, principles I have learned about. Uh, a few years before that, I got interested in sociocracy. Uh, I remember my first, first time I've heard about sociocracy, a friend of mine asked me, uh, have you ever heard about sociocracy? I said, no, but sounds interesting. And I looked it up on Wikipedia and there was a quite a long and detailed um, article on Wikipedia. And a few years after that, in 2015, I think, 
Oops. Ach, sorry. This uh, this uh, fits into this uh, uh, mistakes that we need to be relaxed about when we are experimenting. So uh, a few years after my first encounter uh, with um, uh, sociocracy, uh, sociocracy 3.0 was started as a really, really interesting uh, set of uh, patterns that can be pulled and used uh, uh, in a quite independent and uh, experimental way uh, to improve uh, organizing in different kinds of uh, human endeavors. And this sociocracy 3.0 is also uh, based on some principles, in this case, seven. Some are familiar from uh, uh, traditional or conventional sociocracy. Uh, some are included here uh, because of uh, uh, sociocracy being combined with the uh, agile uh, approach and principles. And you can also see in these seven principles, you can also recognize the four principles or people principles and process principles uh, from uh, modern agile. Uh, for example, consent, equivalence, accountability. These are all uh, the way I see it, uh, people principles. Empiricism, effectiveness, continuous improvement. These are probably uh, process principles. And finally, the set of principles I've uh, learned about uh, before modern agile, before uh, sociocracy 3.0, uh, permaculture ethics and principles. And uh, here you can also see that something very, very elegant is in the middle. Uh, three uh, permaculture ethics, care for the earth or planet, care for people and fair shares, or some people like to call it uh, future care. Uh, on this um, basic permaculture ethics, uh, David Holmgren, one of the co-founders of permaculture from Australia, um, he developed uh, a set of design principles. Uh, one way to define uh, permaculture is that it is a design discipline and the object of permaculture design are sustainable systems that op operate in, in line with uh, nature. Uh, the other way to define permaculture is that it is a um, social change uh, movement, which is basically design, uh, designed uh, in 80s of last centuries to spread around the world by uh, delivering uh, a very, very intense uh, permaculture design courses that train people to think uh, in a way that uh, apply these ethics and principles and also to uh, design uh, sustainable systems. And the third way to explain permaculture may be that uh, it is a, a new emerging culture, new emerging regenerative culture uh, or the way people live on the planet. And uh, if you take a look at each of these individual uh, principles here, uh, you can uh, also recognize both people and process uh, principles. So for me, and this is what I wanted to uh, uh, share with you, is that uh, this three set of principles actually quite easily overlap. And uh, can be helpful when uh, designing uh, different kinds of uh, human endeavors. So, um, 
this is uh, this is uh, about uh, this overlap between uh, modern agile societies and permaculture, and uh, finally um, about learning sociocracy. Uh, what I find really helpful is this uh, relaxed experimental approach from the beginning and uh, probably the patterns that is most beneficial in my experience uh, from the teams and uh, the groups I was involved with or was working with is uh, constant uh, decision making. And uh, there is a, a special uh, way in which uh, you can uh, do uh, constant decision making while you are learning it. And uh, this uh, particular way I uh, like to explain at uh, permaculture design, designing, uh, permaculture design courses as a transfer of ownership. So for those of you who are not familiar uh, in constant decision making, we uh, check for concerns and objections. Uh, very briefly, a uh, concern could be something that somebody from the group or team would like to be considered so that uh, this uh, proposal that is being uh, discussed uh, gets improved because something is omitted or is not uh, complete. An objection is uh, more heavy uh, that's uh, something that can um, uh, be, be, be a risk for the team aims or uh, purpose or can uh, endanger or in any way make uh, difficult uh, the role of that particular team member uh, in, uh, in that group. So, uh, how we experiment uh, while uh, learning to use constant decision making. Um, we basically explain to the group uh, during this training that uh, when anybody from the group has concern or objection, a part of the process is that by expressing concern and objection or objection, the ownership or attachment to concern or objection is transferred as well. The ownership stops being individual and becomes uh, the group ownership of concern or objection. And that's the way how we start practicing or experimenting with uh, balancing individual agency with group or collective wisdom. Okay, so that's it very briefly from me. These 20 minutes have, have passed really, really quickly. Um, I guess uh, I guess I can I can stop sharing the screen now and check for questions or comments about what I've just shared. I see some new faces here, okay. So any questions or comments? We don't have much time because uh, we need to move on. Uh, John, go ahead. Okay, hopefully uh, this doesn't echo. Um, I, you, uh, thanks, um, yeah, so you, you shared um, obviously that pattern of the consent decision-making process and that's actually the first one we've um, tried and it's actually been really successful um, even in the slightly messy uh, at first applications okay thanks Jerry um, so um, yeah basically what, what, are the, what would be the second pattern that you would look to introduce from sociocracy actually the first pattern was a round and round is very important because it is a practical way to make sure there is equivalence during discussion. And uh, I guess, um, I guess uh, uh, it all boils down uh, at the end to uh, original uh, so-called uh, sociocracy principles. Um, 
which is uh, constant decision making, uh, circle organization, and uh, linking circles. So um, uh, these are all patterns that uh, you can start experimenting based on what you need, but based on what you have in your endeavor or group or team. And of course, there is a lot of material available online, uh, both on uh, Sociocracy for All website and Sociocracy 3.0 website. Any more questions or comments? Yes. Um, yes, I, I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm just getting organized to this whole thing, but I love the look of, from my perspective, it was like a medicine wheel. And I loved having images of beings and not just the words of what were around there. So I'm definitely going to be looking all this up, but it was just visually very inviting. So thank you. Uh, you're welcome. And I'm going to paste again uh, the link to the presentation. And uh, just to uh, make clear, uh, every slide has a link that you can follow and learn more. And uh, the last slide is uh, with information how you can contact me. Uh, thank you very much.